लेट्स कंटिन्यू आर सेकेंड चैप्टर पर सिटीज ऑफ इंडिया इन दैट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सिटीज ऑफ द हरप्पन सिविलाइजेशन वेन वी टॉकिंग अबाउट सिटीज ऑफ हरप्पन सिविलाइजेशन द फर्स्ट एस्कोवेटेड सिटी वॉज हरप्पा दैट्स वाई नेम हरप्पन सिविलाइजेशन वॉज गिवेन Harappa is situated on the river bank of Ravi district Sahiwal in Punjab Pakistan the ancient site of Harappa had spread on 150 hectares the first excavation at Harappa began in 1921 more excavation were conducted at that site from time to time Among them the excavation conducted in 1946 by Sir Mortimer Wheeler is also very important at that time he was the director general of archaeological survey of india during the excavation he could trace the fortification wall fortification walls were for the protection of the city were found around the citadel of harappa The first settlement of early Harappan period was established around 3300 before common era. It evolved to the mature Harappan urban phase around 2600 before common era. It reached its peak during 2450 to 1900 before common era. Around 1900 before common era some internal changes begin to appear in the harappan cities this is the time of the onset of the late harappan phase this phase indicate the decline of harappan civilization the evidence of the first excavation at harappa had indicated that the city of harappa was divided into two parts the citadel and the lower town however recent excavation shows that it had four division apart from the citadel and the lower town there were factories and the quarters of the artisan in the south east part of the country the area toward the north of citadel had greenery and the quarters of the worker working there it is obvious that the official staying in the citadel supervised over the greenery and the worker working there a few working platform were found near greenery Before the discovery of Harappan civilization Alexander's invasion in 326 before common era was the only evidence available in the context of ancient history of India and Pakistan This situation entirely changed because of the discovery of the Harappan cities It is fascinating story It began in the year of 1829. Charles Mason, a British traveler, was the first one to visit and write about the archaeological remains at Harappa. He thought that these remains could be that of the capital of King Porus who fought with Alexander. Lieutenant Alexander Burns a British officer was the next one to visit this site Sir Alexander Cunningham was the first director general of the archaeological survey of India his attention was attracted to the site of Harappa by the reports written by Mason and Burns He conducted excavation at Harappa during 1872 to 73 common era. After that 
for the next 48 years no excavation was conducted at that site however during this long interval the curiosity of harappan site among the european scholar had not vanished a general impression prevailed among them that the harappan seal had some connection with the mesopotamia civilization next excavated city was mohenjodaro the excavation at mohenjodaro by rakhaldas banerji began in 1921 to 22 he concluded that because of the similarity between the seal and the other artifact that the ancient civilization of mesopotamia and harappa had cultural tie with each other in 1923 to 24 to gather more information about mohenjodaro mahadev swarup what kashinath narayan also known as k n dikshit arnes mcke and other conducted further excavation under sir john marshall's direction He was the director general of archaeological survey of India at that time. During these excavation various artifacts houses and public monuments were unearthed. Mohenjo-daro was built on the river bank of Sindhu. also known as indus in pakistan district of larkana sind it was not possible to reach the bottom layer during the excavation because of the high level of ground water however it is likely that a neolithic settlement contemporary to the one at mehergra existed there area wise mohenjodaro is the biggest city among those discover in pakistan it was thought that the city was divided into two fortified section namely citadel and the lower town however there was an additional section of the market in this section were found various workshops cleans for baking pottery and beads the remains at mohenjodaro was considerably intact so the glory of the city was revealed in a way of the houses majestic buildings wide street etc thus the evidence of the impressive town planning and the public administration characteristic of the harappan civilization came into light the town planning of the harappan cities can be easily compared with the town planning of the modern cities like chandigarh considering the economic and human resources required for the creation of pre-planned city like mohenjodaro it is obvious that it was created to serve a distinctive purpose next city was kali bangan the site of kali bangan is 205 km away from bikaner it is located in the hanuman district of rajasthan was one of the important urban center of the harappan civilization situated on the bank of river gagar lp testor an italian linguistic had visited kalibangan during his study tour of the region he had reported that kalibangan is an ancient site and it could be prehistoric It was confirmed to be a Harappan city only after the excavation began there in 
it was conducted under the direction of brij basi lal and then director general of the archaeological survey of india and balakrishna thapar at kalibangan two settlements one of the mature harappan period and the other of the early harappan period were found kalibangan was a small city compared to the harappa and mohenjodaro the division of the city into the citadel and the lower town was found here also the site of kalibangan is important for two thing the first is the plagued field of the early harappan period this field is dated to about 2800 before common era the fro marks in this ancient field are similar to the fro of the modern field in the surrounding area the other thing in the series of 6 to 7 5 altars in the citadel evidence of the fire altars inside the houses of common people had also been unearthed apart from this there was a house with a series of fire altars outside the fortification wall some of them contain animal bones according to some archaeologists this might be indicative of fire worship next is lothal the center of the harappan civilization at lothal was situated near the gulf of kutch in gujarat 80 kilometers away from ahmedabad it is known for the remains of harappan docks lothal was excavated from 1955 to 1960 under the supervision of sr rao the citadel and the lower town at lothal do not have separate fortification wall rather they are surrounded by a single fortification wall lothal was established on the bank of the river bugao in manipur district in the state of uttar pradesh the presence of platforms built for stalls a warehouse and the dock confirmed that lothal was an important harappan port and trading center the architecture of the dock at lothal is an example of engineering excellence of ancient people at present lothal is away from the sea however in the ancient time lothal was in the delta region of the gulf of kutch it is clear that the harappan settler of lothal had a good knowledge of the high and low tides and accordingly the rising and the receding pattern of bugao water the dock was built to facilitate the entry of boats during the high tide and their exit during low tides once the boat entered the dock the water was drained out through a sluice gate into a canal sluice gate is actually sliding gate okay the gate was baked brick was built to reduce the water level in the dock as and when required then the repair work of the boats was completed and with the rise of the water the boats could sail back next is dhola veera dhola veera was discovered by j p joshi the director general of archaeological survey of india the site is in khadipet in gujarat in bhujao taluka of kutch 
excavation at the site was started by R S Bishit in nineteen ninety. Among the excavated Harappan site, extend wise Dholavira is the fifth largest city. Its town planning is somewhat different compared to the other Harappan cities. An early Harappan settlement was discovered at Dholavira. There was a protective wall built around it by using mud bricks, unbaked bricks and dressed stone. The layer about this settlement had the Harappan city of mature Harappan face. It was surrounded by an outer fortification wall. The settlement within the outer fortification was divided into four sections. The settlement within the outer fortification was first citadel, second the adjacent section reserved for high official, third lower town. These three sections had walls which separated them from each other. The fourth section inside the outer fortification did not have any additional separating walls. This fourth section was perhaps meant for the workers. A dam of big bricks and a stone was built to obstruct the water of two streams which flowed near the closed city and the water was diverted to canals and lakes. This was the most ancient system of plant water management.